Okay guys, so let's get into how to do uh, some effects for our track, just to help us transition in and out of um, phrases within our track. Um, and remember, refer to the uh, PDF that is included with this course to go over phrases again. But all I did was took our breakdown vocal, kind of that Afro house vocal, and I switched it with with the order of the uh, the female vocal that's screaming woo yeah. That's all I did. Just switch them around so that way the woo yeah is with the steel drums and the bass line and the breakdown vocal is sort of below all of that. Secondly, I created a new track, a new MIDI track. I put a, sample, a simpler in there and then I dragged in a 909 sample from the stock samples in Ableton. I put the MIDI note, it's a bar anyways, but I put the MIDI note on the first beat, you know, the one of the bar, but since the note is a bar long, uh, which is fine, uh, that crash is sitting right there like that. Now the second thing that I did was I, I dragged in not a new MIDI track with a simpler on it. I just took the crash and I straight up dragged it right onto the arrangement view here. And then on that track, I clicked reverse. Upon reversing it, I now have a reverse crash right into my regular crash. And all I did with this to get it right on the grid was I shut the grid off and I just lined it up as closely as I could with the bar. Um, when you reverse an audio file like that, sometimes it gets a little goofy. So you have to shut the, the grid off, right click, off and then drag that sample around until you can get it as close as you can to that bar 17 or wherever you're placing yours. So, anyways, have a crash, have a reverse crash. Let's go ahead and type in white. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Sounds good. Take this white noise, and we drag it in, and we're gonna put that right there. So now we have a crash, a reverse crash, a white noise riser, and if we really wanted to do the same thing again, we would take our white noise riser and drag it in again, and then we would reverse that as well. So now we have a riser that goes up, into a riser that goes down, and that gives us a nice transitional effect for our track. Uh, you'll use that, and once again, consult your PDF about this, but you'll use that in times when something significant happens, like at bar 17 in our track, when our bass line comes in. And because we haven't gotten, gotten to arrangement yet, um, oddly enough, and, and not usual, our uh, steel drum, as well as our vocal also come in there. But we're gonna move that steel drum and that vocal and actually arrange this track in a moment here. But for now, let's go ahead and do this too. This is something good to note. Take all of your transitional effects and color code them. Just all yellows or whatever you wanna do. Really doesn't matter that much. Just keep them all together with the same color that way you're not struggling to know what the heck is what when you're looking at this project later on. And that's pretty much it. Easy enough.